Second and nine. Jackson will roll it to the near side. Nothing happened, and it's Quentin Davey on the stop. Read it from the start. Back then, he set the record in 1966. Third down, Boo feeling the pressure, and Boo is going down. This is something. Through a hole. He's been good up to this point. Boucher again, this time it's complete Sutton. Stutter step move down to the 35, very close, and in fact he will have a first down for Northwestern. Not a huddle. Huddle is a bad word at Northwestern. Here's Boucher, throws on the run, and it's complete. Charles Brown makes the catch. Omato Villarreal from 33 yards away. Third down and about two for Ohio. From its own 30, pitches to Garrett. Trying to turn the corner. Cannot by, get by Corey Wooten. And Jordan Maven came in to make the initial contact. And Wooten finished him off. By Barrett Way for Ohio. Trying to tie this game up. 42 yards away. Does it have the distance and the accuracy? No. And it is good. 14 to 6. Dante Harden. Up to the 15 yard line and driven backwards by the special teams of Northwestern. In his first career start. This time will hand it off, and it's not happening. Starting quarterback in duties came into the Ohio State game as Theo Scott, the original starter, was injured. And Franshaw has put up some incredible numbers as he swings it wide. Ten and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Ohio in the white, Northwestern in the purple. Jackson looking to the end zone. He's got no receiver there, and it's intercepted by Brad Phillips. Phillips with his first interception of the season, the second of his career, and Northwestern takes over. Over 3,000 career rushing yards for Tyrell Sutton. Ohio has the football. Here comes Boo. Tucks it back under, and it was not a good choice. Ten tackles in the win against Syracuse to set a career high. Third down for the Bobcats. Sacked from behind, and the ball is loose. Vince Brown with the pressure on Boo Jackson. And Corey Wooten has the fumble recovery for the Northwestern Wildcats at the 10 of Ohio. 24 yards away. And it is good. Play clock down to three for Ohio. Jackson has it. Got it away complete. Brazil dragged down. Brendan Smith came up to make the stop. But here he is in Ohio going for it on fourth down. Against the Wildcats, trailing nine to nothing, just inside of two minutes to go in the half. Jackson back to pass. Flush from the pocket. Pressure from the backside. He is dropped. Vince Brown with his third sack of the game, Tony, and he is inspired and playing some outstanding football. Next week, Northwestern is at, oh, at Iowa, and then they host Michigan State two weeks after that. Tyrell Sutton escapes some tacklers inside the 20, and down at the 12, the ball comes out. Boucher out of the shotgun. He calls his own number. Trying to get to the goal line. And down just beyond the goal line, but that should be good enough for a first down. Boucher. Toss. Conte into the end zone. Touchdown, Northwestern. Ohio, 3 and 8. On third downs in the game. They can get a first down, just beyond the one-yard line. Harden off the little dump-off, wanting to get to the 10-yard line. Stepping up to make the play, Sherrick McManus, and it brings up fourth down for Ohio. And tackles in the win at Duke. Got a career high for McManus, and the field goal attempt is blocked. Scooped up by McManus. And what another momentum swing. Tony, Ohio is driving the ball deep into Northwestern territory. They stop him on third down and then block the field goal attempt. With inside of 10 and a half minutes remaining here in the third quarter, Boo Jackson from the shotgun. Boo keeps it, and he's brought down to the turf. That's a loss of three on the play for Ohio. Second and 13, Jackson steps up and throws, and it's intercepted. 
Jordan Mabin. First interception of his career for the red shirt freshman from Northfield Center, Ohio. Brazil now has eight catches on the game, came into the game with eight catches. And Corey Ooh, Jackson, just brought down area. Jackson with one hand. Three for nine on third down for the Bobcats in the game. Jackson escapes, running for his life, and he is dragged down. Prince Quatang. Ooh, Jackson, the ball carrier. Junior College got his first start against Central Michigan a week ago. And Wooten swallows up Jackson and drops him. On the banks of Lake Michigan. 38 yard field goal attempt is blocked. For the second time in the game, Northwestern has blocked a field goal attempt. Brazil complete. Dives inside the 20, the ball squirts free. Does Northwestern have it? They do! John Gill comes up with it. Conte into Bobcat territory and out of bounds. Trying to march the length of the field. Pressure on Jackson. And he will be sacked. For the Big Ten home opener. Incomplete, looking for Dunlop with two seconds to go. And the Wildcats are now 4-0. Since way back in the early 60s. So once again, our final score is 16 to 8 Northwestern. Now let's take you out to West Lafayette where the Central Michigan Chippewas take on Purdue. Matt Devlin and Ian Allen are standing by.